Hello from Bear River. Today is uh, January 20th. I just watched the inauguration of President Joe Biden. Um, I've been watching through the impeachment, the inauguration, and here we are. While I wasn't looking, Bear River dropped from 50 down to 28 cubic feet per second. Um, it's been this way for four or five days, and I was like, what? Because the 28 cubic feet per second is not on their current license that was started in 1965. The lowest they could go was 40. So in their newly negotiated license, they said, well, what if we have two back-to-back -back dry years? That would be an um, extra critically dry year, and we want to go even lower. And they said, yeah, you know, water supply. So they're using the criteria for their next license to go even lower on their minimum flow. But they are not using the ramping, which is part of the new mitigations, also connected with their ability to go even below 40. So here we have the devastation wrought by a bunch of engineers who have no clue on environmental issues and apparently oh the other thing is they arbitrarily decide what laws apply to them and what laws don't so i think it's ripe it's ripe they've taken this down to almost nothing and it's below the minimum flow permitted in their old license. Now maybe they got something going with the state that they can take it down even further. But this is 28 cubic feet per second. Starting to remind me of the Colorado River that doesn't even make it into the little sea there in Baja, California. Doesn't make it. It cuts off. And we're going to go up the way and we'll see if that one fork makes it through. Because they've cut it so low. 28 cubic feet per second, and the question remains, why can they do one side of the mitigation and not the other? It's either 40 and 75, or it's ramping and extra critically dry years. You don't take half of one and half of another and then pretend it's okay, because it's not okay. And um, I got a response from people saying, Oh, well, you know, the regulations, um, they're totally within their rights. Well, you tell that to the dead fish. You tell that to the de devastated fishery that once was a good fishery here at Bear River. You tell that to all the people that um, used to come here and fish and don't even come here anymore because of what has been done. You tell that to the people that care about the living world and the living ecology of this river. It's not okay. Oh, Matakwe awesome.